In this video, we'll give a quick comparison between Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Earlier, we have talked about all these topics in detail. So click on the videos in the I button to go to the detailed video. But when it comes to Hodgkin versus non-Hodgkin lymphoma, there are certain distinguishing characteristic. For example, Hodgkin's lymphoma is characterized by the presence of Reed Steinberg cell. And this is a distinctive giant tumor cell, which is a transformed B cell. So non-Hodgkin lymphoma doesn't have this kind of Reed Steinberg cell. The absence of Reed Steinberg cell lead to the name non-Hodgkin. Okay, cellular differences include the cell composition. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma uh, could be due to T cell, B cell or plasma cells or, or the NK cells. Whereas Hodgkin lymphoma is generally derived from B cell. So basically a transformed, oncogenically transformed B cell is basically Reed Steinberg cell. Then incidence and prevalence. So Hodgkin's lymphoma is rare, whereas non-Hodgkin lymphoma is more common, accounts for 90% of the cases, whereas Hodgkin lymphoma only accounts for 10%. Age distribution for Hodgkin's lymphoma is bimodal age of onset, that means age group of uh, 15 to 35 and adults older than 55 is vulnerable, whereas Hodgkin's lymphoma is generally found in people who are more than 60 years of age. So age distribution is also different. Then the lymph node involvement is quite different. More often, Hodgkin lymphoma is localized to single axial group of lymph node. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma is uh, basically involves multiple lymph node, multiple peripheral lymph node as well. So question is, how does this cancer spread? So the spread for uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma is very predictable. So let's say this lymph node is affected. The next lymph node would be affected after that eventually the next one, then the other one. So this is kind of like a predictable spread of the disease. Whereas non-Hodgkin lymphoma is a bit uh, different. So the spread can happen in a unpredictable fashion. So the first case is known as contiguous spread. And the second one is known as non-contiguous spread. So here the cancer can spread into the distant sites within the body and not necessarily require to be spread to the adjacent side of the primary tumor site. Okay, when it when it comes to extranodal involvement, the non-Hodgkin lymphoma shows extensive involvement of the extranodal tissues like thymus, spleen, even sometimes bone marrow. Whereas Hodgkin lymphoma is mostly confined to lymph node, but in advanced cases, it might also have extranodal involvements. So prognosis is much better in case of Hodgkin's lymphoma compared to the non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So obviously treatment planning is more tractable and uh, more uh, defined for Hodgkin lymphoma compared to non-Hodgkin's. But there are many common treatment uh, modalities that can be done for both these cases. So I hope this was short and useful. See you in next video.